Dahil sa COVID-19, ang mga ginagawa nating face-to-face dati ay ginagawa na natin ngayong online. Isa na dito yung mga meetings, seminars or trainings, and even classes. Aside sa internet connection problem, isa din challenge yung pagmomonitor sa mga attendees or participants during webinar or sa mga students during online classes. Merong nagtanong sa akin kung paano ko daw ginagawa yung pagmomonitor sa aking mga student during my online class. Dahil sa tanong na yun, naisip kong gawin ang video na ito para maibahagi yung aking ginagawa para ma-monitor ko ang aking mga student during my online class. Pero bago ko ipakita sa inyo kung anong ginagawa ko, gusto ko muna magpakilala. Ako nga po pala si Sir Raymond Peralta, or mas kilala sa tawag na Sir Moy. Isa akong IT professor sa isang university, at isa rin akong National CSSN C2 Assessor ng TESDA. As a professor, marami akong ginagamit ng mga video conferencing software or services. Isa na dito yung ino-offer ng Google for free, ang Google Meet. Sa video na ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko minomonitor ang aking mga student during my online class sa Google Meet. Kung excited ka ng malaman nito, punta tayo sa aking computer screen at ipapakita ko sa inyo. Ang gagamitin kong browser ay ang Google Chrome browser. Sa Google Chrome, pwede tayong mag-add ng mga tinatawag na extension. Pupunta tayo sa Chrome Web Store at hanapin ang Google Meet Attendance. Ito ang extension na i-add natin sa Chrome para magamit sa Google Meet Meeting. To add this to Chrome, just click it and click the button Add to Chrome. Here nakalagay Remove from Chrome. Since I already added this to my Chrome, pero kung hindi pa ito naka-add as extension, nakalagay dito ang Add to Chrome. Once it is added and pinned, makikita mo yung check icon dito sa top right side of this window. When you click the icon, makikita mo ang mga options or actions na pwede mong gawin like starting a meeting. When you click also the extension icon, Makikita mo rin dito ang mga list of added extensions kasama ang Google Meet attendance. Aside from the Google Meet attendance, we will also add the Google Meet Grid View Fix. Itong extension na to will load every participant's video in an equal size on screen. I already added this extension, kaya makikita natin ang button na Remove from Chrome. Makikita din sa top right side ang icon na Table pag napin mo ito. This is also available in the list kapag titingnan natin sa extension. So tingnan natin what will happen once na mag-umpisa na tayo ng ating meeting. Before papasok sa meeting, makikita itong box sa left side at dito makikita ang mga list of available classes na meron ka. So meron ako dito classes ng HIS Lecture and Laboratory. Pwede din i-tweak yung settings before going inside the meeting. Enabled by default, dapat nakacheck. You can also sort your class list by last names. Pag nakacheck naman ng auto-add new students, ibig sabihin, pag meron pumasok sa meeting, it will be added. 
store class list naka-sync. You may also select the time every 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or 1 minute. You can also select the type of report to be generated and other settings. Click close when you are done. Now click join now to start the meeting. Once you're in, make sure to check the grid view setting to see your participants. Make sure na naka-check lahat except the only show participants with video. This check button will allow you to control the visibility of the attendance on the screen. Pwede mong tanggalin muna sa screen or i-flash sa screen while the meeting is ongoing. Once you're done with your meeting or class at lahat ay nakapag-leave na, pwede ka nang mag-decide kung anong type of report ang gusto mong ma-generate. Click the floppy disk icon if you want to generate a report in Excel file. Once you click it, it will be downloaded. If you want to generate an HTML file, which I recommend you to do, just click this icon and it will be downloaded. Kahit hindi mo na gawin yun, Google Meet will automatically generate the two reports once you will end the meeting since naka-check naman sa settings yung two files to be generated after the meeting. As you can see, once I ended the call, it will automatically download two files. One is in Excel and the other one is HTML. Just make sure na naset mo yon sa settings before starting the meeting. Let's open the Excel file and check the report. Makikita sa report sa first column ang names ng mga students or participants sorted by last name. Sa second column, makikita ang check mark kung present ang student if gumamit ka ng class list at nilagyan mo ng mga students. Sa third column ay email at sa fourth ay comments. Pero wala akong nakita na data sa email and comments column in this report. Sa fifth column ang arrival time kung kailan or anong oras nag-join sa meeting ang student or participant. Sa sixth column kung anong oras nag-leave sa meeting. At sa seventh column yung number of checks. So kung nilagay mo sa settings na every one minute ang checking, Dito sa column na ito, makikita ilang beses na check ang student or participants. Column 8, makikita kung ilang beses nag-join ang student or participant. Ito yung nag-leave at bumalik due to the internet connection problem or nawala talaga at hindi na bumalik. Last column yung details about dito sa joined. Yung oras kung kailan siya pumasok ay makikita dito. Tingnan naman natin yung HTML file which is mas gusto ko because of the presentation. Dito makikita ng maayos yung pag-monitor sa student or participants. Yung color na green means present. Since per minute yung sinet natin for checking, kaya per minute din yung nakikita natin dito. Makikita dito ang arrival time at yung time kung kailan nag-leave sa meeting. The color white means absent. Ibig sabihin, ito yung time na nawala ang student or participant sa meeting. Let's say for example, this student nawala sa meeting ng 12.59 due to internet connection problem, 
Pero bumalik naman after 9 minutes. I like this report dahil madali kong mabasa at maintindihan due to its good presentation. At the top are the details about the class name, meeting ID, date, earliest arrivals, start of the meeting, end of the meeting, and the duration kung ilang minutes ba tumagal ang meeting. What if wala ka pang na-add na class list sa attendance? Paano mag-add ng new class list or new class? O di kaya mag-edit ng class or mag-delete ng class list? There are tools here for some actions na gusto mong gawin. To add a new class, go to Manage and click it. Click this icon to add a new class. Type the name of the class. Click the check icon to save it or delete for the X icon. Once saved, this will be included in the list of your classes. You may use the tools available at the top to do some actions to the class, such as changing the class name and other stuff. To add students in the class, you have to go to that class. Once selected, you may do the following. To add names to this class, either start the meet and let the extension will add them for you, or click the edit class list button and paste or type the names here. Since meron akong class list for my lecture class and sila din naman ang student for my laboratory class, I will just copy the list and paste it here. Pwede ka rin mag-type manually ng mga pangalan dito. Once you are done, click the check icon to save the list. And there you go, the students are added to the class list. And pwede mo nang gamitin ang class list na ito sa mga susunod mong meeting. And that's it for our Google Meet Attendance Tutorial for today. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please don't forget to hit that like button. At kung meron po kayong suggestion na gusto nyo mong ipagawa sa akin or meron po kayong gustong mapanood dito sa channel ko, mag-iwan po kayo ng suggestion niyo sa comment section ng video na ito. At gagawin ko po ang lahat ng aking makakaya para magawa yun. At kung nagustuhan mo yung mga ganitong klase ng content at gusto mo pang makapanood in the future, please consider hitting that subscribe button at pakismash na rin po ng notification bell para magiging updated ka every time na meron akong video na i-upload. Hanggang dito na lang po ang video na ito. Maraming salamat po. Again, ito po si Sir Mon. See you on my next video. Bye!